What's up, everybody? Way, no, it, it, for me, it says I'm on the top, so I don't know. Oh, shoot. So I'm Mario yeah. before you guys get confused. Someone let me people know which – I don't know if I'm on the top or on the bottom. So everybody knows who – So don't be – don't go in that – that room has – the internet in that room is terrible. Oh, it is? Okay. All right. Yeah, get out of that room. What's up? Why do we have small calves? Because we're athletic. That's why we have small calves. That's facts. And we can we can beat up all these people with big calves. My calves are small, but like Mario literally all he did was did when we far back him to pick my calves all the time. He just like hid from fighting. It was annoying. Yeah. Thank you, David. Appreciate it, bro. Why do I like Leon Edwards so much? Le- Leon Edwards is my thing. I, I literally told this guy, I was like, Leon Edwards is the most aesthetic physique like two years ago. It was something crazy like that. He was like, nah. And then when he starts his YouTube, like he just went crazy with the Leon Edwards. Yeah, I know. I did. I am the guy who doesn't like Tate's pick. All right, bro? Uh, Which one is which? Um, Mario is – I don't know which one – Um. Like the orientation, which one of us is uh, on top, which one's on the bottom. But uh, Martin, I'm Martin, so and Mario obviously is the other one. Yeah, Mario. I I'm surprised it doesn't say it. We're doing pretty good. The sprinting increase testosterone. Yeah, it does. Yeah, if you're trying to gain weight and you want to do some cardio, then testosterone. Uh, or you want to do cardio, then do sprinting. But walking is probably best if you're cutting. Do you like what, calves? No, we don't like calves. What made Martin start his YouTube channel? Um, it just kind of aligned it its own way. Because I started the stuff. He's like educated as hell. And it was just about time, man. Athletic bodybuilding's taken over. So it just made so much sense to start now. For ball hypertrophy, what's that? Do I like Sebum? He's not aesthetic in real life. So Mario, I'm Mario, by the way. Mario's on the... Ito. I wish I could do... I don't have like a name tag or something. I would need like a name tag or something. Are we coordinated, Ito? Like for some reason I hear my, my audio. No, I, I, I don't hear you um my stuff on yours. Huh. I hear will I do hearing. will we do any videos of sparring? Um maybe in the future if you guys want to see it. I would say more like probably just like highlights of us sparring, but probably not sparring. I mean like Leon Edwards doesn't post four rounds of him sparring, so that's gonna be like us. You don't want to give the opponents the game plan. You know, we don't want to give the bodybuilders these game plan. Right, right, right. Uh, so Mr. Tao, exercises for wrestlers. Uh, go check out my latest short. It actually has like a video of Islam Makachev doing uh, an exercise. I actually got a shit ton of hate on that on Instagram and on TikTok. So I, I need the troops to go in there and tell these people they're stupid. So yeah, and first the guy who asked, we're Guatemalan, so we're not Mexican. Um. Why are we against bodybuilding? I'm not against bodybuilding. It's just that athletic bodybuilding is a better way to train. It's I've used so many factors to prove why that's the case. Athletic bodybuilding is a better way to train. And I'm Mario, by the way. So people yeah. keep confused. I'm going to have to keep saying that. Where do we train? We trained at uh, Kevin Holland's gym for a little bit. But um, since I don't have time right now, since I'm about to start my clinicals, we're just training us two um, and just like sparring along and doing a lot of pad work. Yeah, do we we used to hoop actually uh, back in like middle school. That was our main sport for a long time. My brother still shoots well. I don't shoot well anymore. So um, yeah. we're good at basketball group. though. We should maybe post like some basketball videos. Yeah, pull ups are better than pull downs. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do like a strength video next week so that you guys can get ready for that. You're gonna see like how strong we are because people don't realize that we're actually very strong for our size and. That's going to show you guys why athletic bodybuilding is way better than bodybuilding. Uh, whoever said what's the best sport, uh, baseball is the worst sport uh, because fat people play baseball. Uh, best sports would be probably martial art, uh, basketball, and soccer in my opinion. And then we do kickboxing, by the way. Boxing is good too, though, So um, for the person who said that. Super plushies, thank you, bro, for the support. Have I ever emailed Leon Edwards? I haven't. Um, I want. I need to get in contact with him. 
he wants to fight in October in Abu Dhabi. We better be there. I'm just saying. We better be there. Yeah, for the guy that mentioned the school project on uh, combat sports, um, if you look up CTE, um, so like the letters C, T, and E, and just go crazy on CTE, your product's going to be good. Okay, and then a lot of people are asking for like sports-specific workouts. People don't realize that as a beginner lifter, all no matter what sport you're playing, you're all doing the same thing. You all want to do athletic bodybuilding because you need to build muscle to get stronger to be more powerful. It's steps. So no matter what sports you guys are doing, athletic bodybuilding is the best by far. Uh, advice for swimmers. Uh, just like anything, guys, task-specific training for swimmers. It's going to be a lot of lat work because you're obviously coming up and then you're coming down and extending your shoulder. So advice for swimmers, work on shoulders. And you actually might want to go higher reps. So you don't want to go uh, like bodybuilding reps. You probably want to go around like 20 to 30 reps just because it's more of an endurance exercise. So that's what would be my recommendation to swimming. But I've never been an avid swimmer. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. Um, this one guy asked if you build muscle while you're fat or cut first. I'm a big advocate for building muscle and then cutting because a lot of people cut when they have no muscle and then they're like, what happened? I just look skinny. That's why. You need to build muscle, then you can cut. Yeah. Um, I need a chest day. We're going to do a chest day workout soon. Probably in a couple of weeks when the cut's over. Um, I'll probably release that too. Good athletic bodybuilding test exercises. Uh, well, bench press obviously is a good one. Um, just standing cable flies. Don't do the dumbbell cable fly. Those are stupid. So just do the, the standing cable fly. Great warm up for push day is just doing the uh, external and internal rotation with the cables, and then building up to your working weight on bench press. That's that's what we do. Oh, and also some mobility, just like shoulder, like shoulder rolls and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, get this guy asked what our benches. Our benches, both of us are relatively the same. We don't really know which one's stronger. I think I'm a little bit stronger. But 225 for 6 to 8 is where we're at, right? About like 6 to 8? Yeah, I've done 7 is the most I've done. So we're going to try next week to actually bench heavy. We could probably get somewhere near like the 295 mark. I wouldn't be surprised we can get somewhere near there. Is there a limit of how much weight you can put on if it's completely functional for sport? Uh, if it's functional, then no. Keep adding weight. But it's if it's not, then no. It's like there are some people who are naturally bigger. Like I was talking to my brother about this. Like Reese James for you soccer people out there is that – and even you can even consider LeBron. They're like naturally bigger guys, but they still have athletic physiques. So kind of take inspiration for that if you're naturally like a bigger person. Yeah. And then um, in terms of that, like you're not going to build like, – if you build like athletic muscle, you're not going to get that big. Also, someone said that there's a rumor I'm 5'4". I'm not 5'4". <laughs> Look 5'4". I'm 5'10". I don't know why people – people are so in, like obsessed with my height. I'm 5'10". Yeah. <laughs> Five ten on five eleven. Oh, yeah. How should I properly cut? It's all about diet, lift weights, and diet. I, I'm gonna probably okay. I forgot. I need to do. I'll do a video on that. Um. Yeah, I'm cutting too. So we'll do. We'll probably both do one. We're both doing it. I'm uh. I'm cutting right now, and then when my cut's over, I'm gonna like go <laughs> how it is and what I did. Luis said you're five five. <laughs> That's you. five. I'm five ten. Why do you think I have so many haters? Because. I'm challenging everything the bodybuilders believe. Go look at all my comments. My brother has a video today about it too. We'll talk. People will say you're wrong and get all upset because the hooks to our videos hurt their feelings. And they'll say, why are, you, why are we wrong? And they can't give us an explanation. Yeah, my, my Instagram blew up, guys. I need, I need some people to go out there and show me some support because I've got like so many people mad at me on my Instagram. It's insane. Cutting foods that are good, chicken breast and like celery. If you have big calves, what do you do? You just do it like a, like any other explosive athlete does. You just do plyometrics, get strong at leg exercises, and then don't worry about the calf sides. You know, whoever the, said Arsenal is better than Chelsea, just tell me how many Champions League you guys have, and then we can talk. Dang. Optimal body for BJJ. Well, um, it's for the same thing. Like I would say, kind of like an Oliveira uh, body. Like well, like it's, it's pretty it's, muscular, like yeah. long arms. It's all it's about also pound for pound. Weight. It's like weight. Yeah, exactly. Weight. It's pound everyone for everyone and BJJ. They don't test, so everyone's on steroids. Only place that like you can actually have like legitimate BJJ athletes is one because they actually test. Alex Pereira looks skinny, bro. That's why I call him skinny. Because, um, but is he actually skinny? No. Like you can say, like you know, I look skinny based on insertion. But if you see me in real life, I'm actually not that skinny. You know. 
So who I, I think Sterling I, wins. I think Sterling's gonna win as well. Increase weight or reps for ladder raises. Well, weight. I mean, you want. You're doing. Yeah, because like you want to stay within like a good hypertrophy rep range. At 52 kg, you shouldn't be cutting. Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah. If you're at 52 kg, you probably shouldn't. You shouldn't be cutting. You should be bulking up, man. So you said you're boxing for four to five months. You do MMA. I think if you're confident in your boxing, then yeah, I feel like it's better to master one thing and then go into the other one rather than just kind of be super all around on MMA. So like when you spar, like me and him, when we sparred MMA, like we just deny takedowns and box uh, and kickbox. So yeah. I would just if you're confident in your boxing, then stick with uh, or go to MMA. I want to answer this guy's question about athletic bodybuilding versus bodybuilding compared to like lift, like standing up. Bodybuilders will do forced reps, forced failure to build muscle. Does that have much strength benefit? No. Also, standing up is a big factor. Also, the bodybuilders don't, they use a ton of machines and don't use these free weight exercises where you use your core a ton. That's what makes us different from these weak bodybuilders. Ask a bodybuilder to run like, you know, 30 seconds, they won't be able to do it. They have weak cores for their size. They're just, you know, Ask a bodybuilder to start lifting weights without a belt. They're going to hurt themselves because they always use the damn belt. They're going to hurt themselves. That's what makes us different. I'm Mario, by the way, before people keep getting confused. Best food for bulking, in my opinion, it's peanut butter. I used to go crazy on peanut butter. I have a smaller – I have like a lower appetite than he does. He eats like crazy. So yeah. uh, I'll probably drop like a mask in or shake recipe that I live off of. Yeah. This guy said I'm against jogging. I'm against jogging for aesthetics, but for endurance, it has its place. But in my opinion, you're better off doing like kind of like that hit kind of workout where you go high intensity, then you go low intensity. Doing this mid intensity for high volumes is going to make you tired. Right. It's not better than keeping it back and forth. All right, Carlos, I literally have a video on my channel that's nine minutes long on how to throw high kicks. It's literally right there on my channel. But peanut butter is a high fat food, um, so that's what makes it good for bulking. Fat is nine uh, grams per um, nine calories per gram, and then you've got carbs and protein, which is four. And then yeah, my brother and I do watch soccer. So yeah, you guys said Jones versus Ngannou. Uh, Jones by whatever way he wants. Yeah, this guy said Michael Chandler's physique for MMA. Have you not noticed? In MMA, people with high insertions like Alex Pereira can knock people out with just a quick hook. While people with this big, bulky physique like Michael Chandler, they can knock people out if they load the crap out of their punches. Yeah, uh, Paulo Costa. Yeah, Paulo Costa is another example. These wrestlers have high peak force but not quick force, so they have to load up shots. So, depend. I mean, it depends how you're built. You have to just his adjust. Training, his training is probably very good because he has access to good strength and conditioning coaches. Yeah, I think I can bench more than Leon Edwards, I think. Someone asked if I could. Yes, I yeah, do Martina, YouTube, I don't know why my YouTube is not – It doesn't it say that I'm uh, – doesn't it say what YouTube – It should say that my brother's is there, but it's at Mart Martin Rios SPT is if you want to find my brothers. Creatine is fine whenever age. Also, um, you don't want to stunt your growth if you're 13 with plyos. Depth jumps. Depth jumps is basically where you jump off a high box and land. That's just bad. Like you're absorbing a lot of stuff and that actually sets your growth. So weightlifting doesn't set your growth though. What do you think of Raphael physique? Did deadlift work the neck? No, they don't work the neck. They work the traps, but that's not necessarily part of the neck. Bodybuilders work their core too separately? No, they don't. You know that like doing crunches, they don't work your core. The only way you can work your core functionally is with heavy compound lifts like deadlift squats and overhead press that's the uh, only yeah the way i explain that is whenever you're in a game you don't do curls the, the main function of the core in sport is to stabilize your body for upper extremity so arms or lower extremity which would be your legs movement so, like i said task specific training you have to do that at the gym if you want to translate nordic curls nordic curls are good those are good like a good athletic movement. Um, I'm, I'm, this is Mario. I don't know which side I'm on, on <laughs> because I'm on, I'm, we're on mobile, so it's up and down for me. So, um, just jumping with dumbbells. No, because you're not, up, you're not jumping. No, it doesn't. But honestly, if you're young, you shouldn't, even, I, you, you're better off just doing normal plyometrics instead of weighted plyometrics, anyways. The guy that said Isaac, uh, ideal physique to build for 5'9 guy, I would say lightweight McGregor. Yeah. I'd say if you're – like I'm 5'10 
and I'm like at I've got to 180 and I felt too bulky. Right now I've cut down 10 pounds to 170. I'm trying to get to 160. So I love Leon. This guy talked about ants are strong compared to their body. Yeah, ants are badasses, bro. They've got some crazy strength to body ratio. Yeah. Thoughts so apparently things. I'm on the left side. Yeah, I think I'm on the right. I think Mario's on the right. This is Mario, by the way. If I'm, I think I'm on the right. Do I think creatine is safe for 14 year olds? Yes. What do you think about explosive training and casting for MMA? Would that be better for ex isolated? Would that be better for? Well, it depends. Like, those are two different like periods of training. You know, um, building muscle is a different stage of training than you know, explosiveness. Those are different stages of training. So it depends. To the guy that said that you're 10% body fat, but still feel like your abs aren't showing, you're either not 10% body fat or you don't have enough ab muscle. So that means you need to uh, work on your abs more and grow the muscle there. Yeah, that that's exactly. That happened to me too. So yeah, you're, you're either not 10% or you got to start hitting the weights a little bit more. All right, the but guy that, that said, how do I do my first pull-ups? Get on the bar and do pull-ups. And if you can't do a pull-up, jump up on the bar and just do crazy eccentrics. What's up, Orange? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Okay, for people who want to ask, 5'10", and my brother's 5'11", okay? I don't know how many times. I've had to answer that question. That's the most asked question on live stream. Because someone said I was 5'10". Knees over toes, guy. Um, it's not functional at all. When in a sport or you ever have your knees over your toes or when in real life are you putting your knees over your toes? It makes no sense. Best weight for six. I mean, you're 13. You still need to grow. It's beating your meat exercise. You burn calories. You burn calories. We're, ba we're based out of Fort Worth, Texas. Thoughts on Michael B. Jordan's physique? It's a good physique, but he didn't get it naturally. Uh, Mario is older. By one minute. I'm one minute older. Best weight for a 6'3 guy? Probably like a lean 200 probably, right? Uh, for a uh, how? 600, not like 190. Like, so let's do it like this. I'm about 5'10". For me, about 160 lean is like the, as shredded and muscular as I can be. Then you kind of add from there. So you could get to maybe a 180 like crazy lean at 6 foot. But I'd say 190 is more sustainable. Like a lean 190 is very sustainable at 6 foot. Maybe, I mean, that it could be even less than that. Maybe like 175, 180. Yeah, like 175, 180. Can we do a muscle up? We should be able to do a muscle up, but we don't know the technique. If we yeah. like sat there and tried to do muscle ups, we would, we would be able to do one, yeah. They asked about degrees. I have my degree in exercise science. So does he, but he has he's doing more than that because he's, he's in grad school. I have PT version, and then yeah. uh, I'm starting my first clinical rotation in a couple days, actually. And then next year in May, I'll have I'll be a doctor in physical therapy. So I'll be my my channel name's gonna be Doctor Martin Rios after that. That's gonna be hype. This guy said something about my hair. I just came back from training people, bro. It's like all over the place. That's why my okay. mine looks good. <laughs> is there a way to train abductor adductors abductors? Oh yeah, yeah there is. Uh, so let me switch my camera. Um, ad adductors, you don't have to train because you literally are stood in adductor position all the time. You literally just go on the floor and do a single leg radius like that. Best martial art, in my opinion. With the table, but uh, because it's, like I said, task specific, you're standing up. But if you don't have access, then do that instead. Giga Chat, I already answered your question, bro. I said that it depends Martin, on your... Martin, do you do a PhD? No, because PhD, you only need to teach as a physical therapist. And that's stupid. You literally are in school all the time just to teach kids. Orange as who's stronger out of both of you. We're gonna do a video on that next week. It's pretty sure. I'm, but, okay. I think he might be, but overhead press is all me. That's a hundred percent. So that's what matters, man. The overhead press. What's your favorite body part to work out? Uh, mine is the shoulders. How long did your gym transformations take? Uh, I mean, well, we've been working out consistently for like five years, so. Kind of that. Can you? Yeah, we can. Good back and shoulder options, uh, lateral raises and pull-ups. Is protein powder overrated? I like it. I think it's very. Um, it's very convenient. Yeah, it's convenient. So that's why I like it. Favorite food? Uh, probably steak. I like pizza. 
get those carbs in. <laughs> Fucking fat ass. <laughs> Cole, I Leon think Edwards Colby. 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 I, I think, think Colby, Colby wins as well. I think he puts the cardio on him. Yeah, I think Colby beats Leon. So, way to pull for athletes. A hundred percent, yes. How can Talk we? Guys would, would love. To, would, so we're start. We're launching something crazy this weekend. So if you guys haven't gotten like the free back and biceps workout, you guys will get on the email list, and we're gonna launch something pretty crazy this weekend. So you guys better get on that email list. Keep up with the emails. Believe me, we're launching something pretty crazy this weekend at the beginning of next week. So. This is why I've been on it on YouTube lately because I barely started posting. I've been I'm always here, so I've always been I've been on YouTube for a year, so. Bush push day exercises, overhead press, bench press. I mean, I guess lateral raises. I mean, you know, simple dips are good too for the triceps. People keep asking for the best weight. The best weight depends on the person. It really does. Like for me being 5'10", my best weight, most aesthetic weight is closer to 160. I gotten up to 180. It just depends on the person. There might be going so better fast. Shit. 170. Dude, these how do you slow these questions down? They're going so fast. You just have to pick them, bro, because yeah, there's a ton of questions. Yeah, I'm trying to stop them, but they're not literally even stopping. I can barely even read them. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, you guys are like asking a bunch of questions. You can like hold it in the pauses. Yeah, it's not pause. I gotta scroll up. Can you guys make us a conditioning week schedule that we can follow? I mean, like, that's on, like, I mean, we give you guys workouts. If you sign up for the email list, you get some of that too. So, a lot of what you're asking is on that. Can you guys regulate comments? Let me see if I, I can probably do that. Only thing you could do with regulating comments is doing donations. You just need to see the donations. I don't know if you can turn that on. Um, let's see. Uh, best core exercises. Uh, best core exercises. Uh, deadlift and squat, baby. Alex Eubanks' physique is, I think, a little overrated because his chest is so big. He just looks kind of fat to me. I don't know. Thoughts about will burpees sp- alone get you jacked? Hell no, they won't. Yeah, no, that does not. You're not building muscle with those. Yeah, there's no resistance. You're that's a cardio exercise. When should I start taking supplements? When what should I be taking? You can always be taking vitamin D, creatine, magnesium, zinc. Those are the ones. Is grip strength important if you're an athlete like a wrestler or BJJ or MMA? Yeah. Someone asked athletic body being at 12 fine. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's always fine. But, I mean, when you're younger, you just don't lift, like, six days a week. Forearm exercises. Uh, uh, break your radialis. So, hammer curls are the best one. Someone said they were on a cut and their body fat staying the same. What they need to do. You need to lift weights, eat a high-protein diet, and then maybe increase the, the deficit a little bit more. Deficit Jack should Adam, always be between, the deficit should always be between 500 and 750. This guy said front squat versus back squat. Front squat is quad dominant. And back squat is more like you, you have more hamstrings and glutes. Is BCA overrated? I mean, like, yeah, because it's in food and it's in, like, your whey protein shake. How do I get an email list? If you want to get on the email list, you just have to go to my bice- back biceps workout and you'll get that sent to you for free. It's the link in the pink comment. That's how you get on the email list. So that's how you get all this, like, a lot of these people want all this stuff. A lot of it's on the email list. How can I achieve athletic like body? Uh, do what we tell you and work hard. Uh, yeah. Ben, how do you increase your bench? This applies to everybody. If you want to increase your squat, you squat. You want to get faster at sprinting, you sprint. You want to get faster at bench, stronger at bench press, you bench press. As like cookie cutters, it sounds less yeah, literally. Well, yeah, task specific training, guys. Like you're not going to play. Like uh, this is an example I'm going to use in my videos later. You don't. You're not going to play baseball to get better at tennis, okay? I know they're both racket sports, essentially, and they're both swinging stuff, but you're, it doesn't apply. Oh, yeah. Someone asked a question, how sh- often should you increase weight? Everybody should listen to this. When you're bulking up, do not have a target weight because that just end, you just end up getting fat. You could get to 175 in a week if you really wanted to if you just ate like crap for a week. When you bulk up, focus on getting stronger at the gym 
and eating well. Don't focus on getting that weight up. All right. This guy said our bell, but barbell squats good for tall, lanky people. Squats are good for everybody. Is it harder for someone that's lanky and uh, tall? Yeah, but that's an extra reason why you should be doing it more often. Uh, people are asking about cuts. If you're cutting, you need to have built muscle for a year or two. Because if you don't, you're to be disappointed in what you see after the cut. Does cutting stunt growth? No, bro. People are so infatuated with cut, with stunning growth. It's the only thing is like depth jumps, and most of you guys don't even do depth jumps. Did I let you know about the email list already? The email list I feel is like bodybuilding good for BJJ wrestling. Yeah, my brother and I were doing great in wrestling just because we were stronger than everybody. Uh, we don't even know how to sprawl. Power. We didn't even know how to sprawl, and me and him were denying every single takedown just by pure strength. So yeah, it's good. Do you have any athletic bodybuilding programs? I have them on my Patreon, but we're also launching something crazy on the beginning of next month. So um, if you want to get on the email list, if you want access to my workouts on the Patreon, go to my recent upload, which is the back and biceps workout. The link's in the description. The link to get on the email list is the free workout. And if you want my athletic bodybuilding workout, you just do um, the – it's my current workouts, which is on the Patreon. Someone asked if I have beef with Hamza. My brother and I both will tell you he's not good at fighting. We both would beat him. This guy asked me how, how much I weigh. I weigh 170 pounds right now. I'm trying to get down to like around 160. Tini, let them know what you think about Justin Lee. Oh, yeah. Justin Lee, he's so boring, dude. I mean, God. He's like, oh, man, this is how you increase your cash rates. It's like, you're like, dude, like, the guy's so boring. He's a sheep. He doesn't say oh, anything. Yeah, that's what I say. He's an absolute sheep. Yeah. He doesn't say anything original. Um, he just gets information from Google search and then acts like he's an expert. And he's got good genetics. He deadlifts with terrible form. I don't know what – I mean there's so much I can say about the guy. Um, um, I think Tank is going to win. I don't know. We're, we're more MMA guys. So. Yeah, this is, this is me just kind of knowing who each of them are. Do bicep curls help with punching power? Absolutely. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. That has nothing to do with punching power. <laughs> What's up, Santiago? Colby's winning. Colby beats Leon. Yeah, I agree. Someone's asking about Volkanovski strength and conditioning training. Um, you know, you got to um, – I mean, it's all right. I mean, I haven't really seen it. Yeah, Phil, this guy has Phil Dario. He's a good trainer, but his videos, um, he, he just makes it hard to relate to the audience. I like Hamza's videos too, but yeah, his uh, his fitness advice is not the best. So, can striking your grab. Five movements with one or two movements seated. Yeah, you can just, like, for example, bench press, you can't do standing. So, just try every exercise you can do standing, do standing. Someone asked opinion on Tristan Tate's physique. I think he's a little too bulky. So, um, this guy has uh, punching power with push ups. You have to do explosive push ups where you like push yourself up in the air. That's how you increase punching power. So, I'm gonna ask okay, I'll explain how depth jumps stunt your growth because when you depth jumps, you're like basically on a box and you jump down and absorb and you just spring back up. What it does is it closes what you call the epithelial plates in your, in your knees. So, basically, it, they're open. So, it's like think about the top of your knee. It's, there's like a plate open when you're growing. What it does is it closes them. Stop growing. Tristan Tate's on PRT, I think. This guy asks, 15-year-old boxer, what should be doing weight training? You should just be weight training, doing athletic bodybuilding like what we do. You yeah. need to get a good foundation of muscle before you start to specialize in certain areas. Someone's asking about Khabib. Khabib is the most overrated fighter in UFC history. I agree. He's fought three decent people. Right. See, another one. Patty said, how do I get higher kicks? I have a video on my channel that's nine minutes long uh, going in-depth on how to get high kicks. Someone I said Revival Fitness, you can't beef with him. I can't beef with him because he's too boring. I've seen his content a couple times. When I started YouTube, he had 25K subs. Now he's like at 30K subs. I'm at like 140K. All right, because Patty, you gotta again, Patty, I have a video on high kicks. Yeah. How do you get over gym anxiety? What my brother and I did was go together and we went to a very quiet gym. That's the best thing to do. All 
Optimal rep range for sprinting explosiveness and long. Well, it depends on the exercise. If it's for squat, it's under six. These are going so fast. Is protein okay for a 13 year old daily? Yeah, protein powder is protein. And then, protein you know, protein. yeah. Protein. People, this one guy keeps asking about Z's summer respond. I mean, he's cool. I don't really have much of a thought on him. Thoughts, thoughts on Andrew Tate's chest? That's what happens when you bench and you listen to these bodybuilders who tell you to hit your lower chest instead of hitting your upper chest. I feel my knee when squatting. Um, yeah, that's not enough information for me to help diagnose you. I would assume you probably have patella tendinopathy and just go on the leg extension machine and do eccentric, like crazy eccentrics is what I would do if I had knee pain while squatting. Leg extension machine is terrible for hypertrophy and it's like performance, but for rehab, it's good. Sergey Pavlovich looks like a bodybuilder, bro, but he's just a big dude. What are the downsides to creatine? Nothing. They've done so much research on it. What if knees hurt in squats? Yeah, it still could be patella tendinopathy. That's when you have the most pressure on your t uh, patella. So, yeah, it might be that. I don't know. Like I said, I can't physically see you or do tests and measures on you. So, it's hard for me to diagnose just from one statement. Or it's not hard. It's like nearly impossible. Okay, again... Because some people are asking specific workouts for specific sports. As a beginner, which I feel like most of you guys are, athletic bodybuilding, just building muscle like an athlete is the same. If I had someone who's going to play soccer and I had someone who's going to do wrestling, I'd have them do the same program. The, the wrestler would do more work in high purchase in terms of the long run. The soccer player might do one month of athletic bodybuilding and then do their stuff. But you start them off the same. And we both kickbox. We don't. I mean, I guess if you kickbox, you sometimes box too. So I guess both. The guy that says you're sore every time after leg day, that means you're doing way too much at the gym that your body can handle. Lower the volume. Yeah, you gotta lower the volume. Do less sets is the best way to address that. How many times a week should I go to the gym? That question, that answer is different for everybody. So you know, my brother and I have been going for six, but recently we've been only going three to let our bodies recover. It's different for everybody. It depends on your schedule and a lot of factors. Someone keeps asking if John goes on the steroids. I mean, he got caught, you know. But so is everybody else. Lower or high, high, high rep? Yeah. Um, just stay in the 8 to 12 range you know it, it also depends on your goals if you want to get stronger go lower if you want more endurance go higher ups my brother and I have built everything like our strength and our hypertrophy all from like the 6 to 12 rep range so but like obviously if you're an athlete you're going to focus more on like that sh like a lower side or maybe the upper side but if you're an athletic bodybuilder you want to look good and perform good you stick within that 6 to 12 rep range Best physique of all time, probably Leon Edwards. Yeah, Leon, for sure. That was a bad, that was just, a, you know, you knew that answer. Who do you think will win, Jemaya or Pereira? Um, that one's, I'm a Pereira fan, so I'm going to be pretty biased, so I'll let you answer that one again. I think, I, I think Pereira's going to be, I mean, they're not going to fight, though, because Pereira's going to be too big for him. He's going to fight at 205. Oh, well, yeah, Pereira's also going light heavyweight, so that's not even. Can you train for hypertrophy and strength at the same time? Yes, me and him got super strong without even training for strength. Yeah, but you have to prioritize one or the other. You can't try and do both at the same time. That yeah, because strength is three to five reps, hypertrophy six to twelve, and the rest times are also different. So I mean, you can kind of do a mixture. It's kind of what we did. Uh, someone asked what soccer teams we support. I like West Ham. Uh, yeah, and I like Chelsea. Andrew Tate or Logan Paul wins that one. This guy said Pereira is overrated. I think he's underrated. I think people think that uh, just because he can't wrestle, he's not very good. I mean, he fought a couple guys that were good. And, I mean, that one-punch knockout power can take you a long way. Can you um, see? Didn't John Moran didn't do depth jumps. No, he didn't do depth jumps. He did, like, tire hops. Those are different. Depth jumps when you're jumping off of a box – Landing and immediately jumping back up. That's a death jump. 
This guy said hammer curl, reverse curl. They're different things. Hammer curl does brachialis. Um, reverse curl does brachialis and more of the uh, other muscles of the forearm. Yeah. Someone so. asked if Alex Eubank is aesthetic. He's not. I mean, like, the bodybuilding community will always tell you that he is, but he's not. Because watch him on Omegle. His chest is way too big because it doesn't look natural. Girls don't like that. And that's what aesthetics kind of is. And have you not noticed that in the bodybuilding community, the most aesthetic bodybuilders are all the ones that look more as athletic of the bunch that's what they say david laid alex eubank are the ones that are aesthetic because they were the ones that look more athletic out of all the bodybuilders if you want to be aesthetic you have to look athletic it's pretty simple but these bodybuilders are always going to refuse that because their feelings get hurt uh what are my thoughts on mason mount i think he's a good player he's having a bad season um i hope we can keep him yeah, this guy was young, and he asked, like, he said he's 15, he's overweight. If you're young and overweight, the best thing you can do is just hit the weights and eat well. And it kind of fixes itself because you're so young. Thoughts on the Trent Twins? I'm going to make a video on them soon. They're just juiced-up bodybuilders who are insecure that they can't fight. I mean, like, my brother and I would beat them in a fight, for sure. This, this one guy said that you were – how do you fix your, like, crazy lower chest? I would – Honestly, if I were you, I would stop doing even middle chest. I would stop doing bench press. I would just focus incline bench press and incline, and then uh, up uh, upward cable flies. Just, like, go crazy on that. Orange asked if we're going to collab with any other, like, influencers in the future. The only person we would collab with, the only two people that I know of in my mind, Leon Edwards, Colby Covington. Those are the two people we'll collab with. Other than them, none of these bodybuilders online, I, will not, I won't do that because we have different ideas than them. Do is LeBron the goat? Yes. Um, do you think? Do I think Pereira will beat Jamal Hill? I think he will. I think that if you're a, an absolute expert at one area of martial arts, so Oliveira would be jujitsu. Uh, Khabib is like more wrestling. Uh, you can even say Colby's wrestling. Um, and then Pereira's kickboxing and Isner kickboxing. If you're an expert in one field, that that is a huge advantage. So I think that's underrated. Can you pro help me get it into the military? Again, athletic bodybuilding is, is a lot of the time the answer. You athletic bodybuild, then you would use that to build strength or power. That's just how it works. This guy just said arm wrestle. Guys, arm wrestling is the worst. Demo uh, that's a good video idea. Arm wrestling is the <laughs> worst demonstration of strength comparison between people because it's literally medial rotation of your shoulder, which nobody trains. So, yeah, that's a stupid – arm wrestling is a stupid way to see strength. Hamsat or Colby? Colby beats him. Colby beats him. I'm trying to get an eye on one. I mean, a lot of people are talking about like Pereira and like Jamal Hill. I think Pereira wins that one. I think Colby beats Edwards. Besides Leon, whose physique? I like Charles Oliveira's physique. I think is really good too. There was um, someone else that I thought had a good physique, but I forgot. I thought McGregor um, when McGregor's lean at his also. Yeah, looks I think good. McGregor at like lightweight has a pretty solid physique. I mean, like, is Hamza good at fighting? No, he's not. My brother's good at describing Hamza fighting. Hamza fighting? How is that? Hamza just dips, goes for the legs every single time. And then he he also fights a lot. Like Uzi. no, no, Hamza, not Hams, not. Oh, ha oh, Hamza. Uh, yeah, Hamza. I thought you said Hamza. Yeah, uh, Hamza fighting is super, super stiff. No footwork. Uh, I, I feel like I, I commend him for trying martial arts, but there are just some people who have a little bit lower. Um, they have a lower, or yeah, lower ceiling. Yeah. Someone said LeBron or Kobe. I don't. I don't know. I don't think that's ever been a question. Yeah. With been LeBron. I don't think that's a question. Avoid uh, any tips for avoiding comparing yourself to others in the gym. Um, honestly, like it's easier, like easier said than done. But you just gotta just focus on yourself and just. Look at changes in yourself. That's how you do it. Like, don't like compare your like. If you have a little bit of change in your bicep, don't compare your bicep to somebody else. Like, you're like, oh, I've seen improvement in my biceps. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta just like think about your own progress. Like for me, it's like you know, I built that little bit of muscle. I got stronger. You know, and that's the best way to go. If you do have that problem comparing yourself to others, a quiet, very low key gym always helps. So, this guy said, how can I get started at the gym? You go to the gym and you get a program from an influencer you trust like us so that you start to learn the exercises and you start to understand, like, you learn about the muscles. Yeah. And then for a lot of people, you guys don't realize, like, 90% of people don't have a good program and don't have a good diet. 
and they don't realize how far that like they're capping their ceiling by not having a structured program, especially by people who can write it for you. Because we went to school for that stuff. A lot of people don't have that. And a diet and a good structured program can take you really far. This guy said, what are your thoughts on powerlifting? I think it's stupid when um, you literally don't even look like you. Someone asked, is fapping before a workout bad? Like, yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, like, also, like, you got to consider, like, like, is that productive? No. Gaethje versus Poirier, too. I think that Poirier will win. Best exercise for basketball athletes, plyometrics for sure. And then building some muscle, too, so, like, squats. This guy said Jesus Christ or Leon. I mean, I don't know if Jesus Christ has a better V-taper than Leon. When did we start kickboxing? We both did karate. We got our black belts when we were almost 14. Then we started kickboxing when we were 20. So we took like a break, and then we started kickboxing when we were 20. I'm trying to see a question. How many sets should we do for biceps and triceps? Uh, to get better arms, um, I do ten sets per workout. Someone said, "What's the do? What body type do women like? Athletic body type or Leon? Women like Leon." Let's see. Can you Can build a good busy jogging and sprinting? Sprinting, yeah. Jogging, no. It kind of counteracts it. So if you do both, no. Who's stronger? I think I'm stronger, but we're going to do a video on who's stronger soon. Hamset or Leon? I think Leon beats him. Uh, people keep asking about Tristan. Do you already answer that? But yeah, Tristan Tate's physique yeah. is a little bit too bulky in my opinion. He's on TRT for sure. You can kind of, you can just tell. Uh, Mohamed Mokayev, I mean, he's... He's in a weak division, so it's kind of hard to say how good is he, he is. Um, he doesn't beat the top guys now. This guy said when he gets home from school, I'm tired to work out. Um, I didn't see the rest of the question, but I was at school from like 8 to 3 or 8 to 5 this semester. What do I do? I go to the gym before school. I go to the gym at 6 in the morning, so that's what you should do. Someone's asking for twins. Yeah, we're twins. So Make a video yeah, and asking me. About judo, I, I really don't know. I mean, all I know, the only person I know that does judo is Ronda Rousey. It's not a, uh, have you not noticed in UFC, none of the men use their judo skills that often? It's, it's like, you know, it, it, judo works really well in women's MMA, but in men's MMA, it doesn't work that well. Mm, Best exercise for the when you start going to the gym, I would say when you start high school. Revival versus Hamza? What does that even mean? If you're talking about revival fitness, it doesn't really make much sense. What are ways you can train your D? V, v taper is very genetic, but uh, low body fat, good back, good shoulders. Smash or pass, Leon Edwards? Smash. <laughs> <laughs> what age do you recommend taking creatine? It doesn't really matter, but I wait till you're like 18, 16, 18. I think 16 youngest. Thoughts on Arnold's physique? I mean, you know, in terms of aesthetics, he's too big in real life, but you don't really compare people like that to your normal person. Best baseball training um, technique and rotational uh, power. What's your body count? Um, four digits, baby. What do you think about GSP genetics? He's on steroids. If you don't think GSP's on steroids, I don't know what to tell you. What race are you? African American. If someone said you're 14% body fat and you have love handles, like, yeah, that's normal. You have to get really lean to get rid of your love handles. I mean, the leaner you get, the less you have. No, our hair is natural. Not someone no asked, how do you go on a bulk without getting fat? You just eat a lot of good food. That takes you pretty far. Should I do 500 bicep curls a day? No, guys. More is not necessarily better in terms of lifting weights. Especially, yeah, especially in the gym. More is not better. Yeah, intensity matters, guys. That's literally facts. I want to say the N-word. Not right now. Exercise to build a strong back. 
deadlift and you low back too, so deadlift. Uh, American football, never been a big fan. Who is who? Mario is this one. Martina is the other one. I don't know how it works on your guys' screens. No difference between big and small calves. I mean, if you don't want to use strength and conditioning principles or biomechanics, sure, you can convince yourself that. Someone said do your max push-ups now. Um, back extension's good. Um, I think uh, it's not super, again, back extensors are more of a core exercise, so better to use them in a more functional pattern like a squat or a deadlift. Martin. If you guys haven't subscribed to my brother, Martin, yeah, help me out on, on uh, TikTok uh, and Instagram because I'm getting a bunch of hate right now. That's weird. YouTube, you people grow slow and then eventually you spike. That's what happened to me. Because I used to grow, like TikTok was like a big thing for me and then in my YouTube, I grew it. Someone asked about the EDP physique. Um, I mean, I, it's, not, it's not aesthetic, but it's not great for performance. Is karate legit martial art? It's not complete. It's very incomplete. You have to combine it with something. Well, everyone wants to know our heights. 5'11", and he's 5'10". Yeah. Can you make a video about asking women who's a better... Maybe next year. When I'm have like when i really popular, I can just do it at like the college near my house. We're both 23 years old. Would you cheat on – who would you cheat on Leon Edwards with? Nobody. You don't get better than the best, man. I think Blades will win. Yeah, um, I think I think uh, Pavlovich is going to win. So You think Pavlovich is going to win? Blades struggles with big punchers. Yeah, but Pavlovich got out grappled by uh, – Oh, yeah, Pavlovich that's true. By Overeem. I still think Pavlovich is going to win, but – no, I don't know. I think that's a good point. Blades is actually very good, but we haven't seen him in a while. Easy way to get more calories in, mass gainer shake. Uh, make your own. Don't buy one because uh, they're just filled with a bunch of chemicals and sugar. This guy said black or Latina women. Why women? That's just my type, man. How do you improve endurance and cardio as an athlete without jogging? Um, you can do burpees, you can do any kind of cardio. I would just do, um, uh, if you're an athlete, just do your sport. So wrestling, go wrestle for a long time. Um, try and find things that replicate your sport. So if you're a wrestler or like if I were an MMA fighter, I would be doing cardio at five minute rounds, three, uh, yeah, five minute rounds for three rounds. You have to replicate what you do in game. How long should you bulk? Bulk should be almost all the time and then cut whenever you need to. So I bulk for like a year or two and then cut. For me, I bulk for two years and then cut. But now I'm going to get really lean and then kind of keep it because I'm going to have to for my image. This guy said Leon Kennedy or Leon Edwards. Uh, Leon Scott. <laughs> How do you improve endurance without cardio uh, uh, or without jogging? I mean, you can do it like on the bike. You can do it. Like an example is hit the bag for a minute at a high intensity and then go light for a minute. That's how you increase your car. That's way more functional, way more applicable. The only reason you'll jog is to like build an endurance foundation. That's it. How to get balanced training with school and get good sleep while playing a sport. Uh, time management. Um, try and space out uh, your workouts. I'm surprised you don't get a good amount of sleep because usually after soccer practice, me and him would absolutely dip. Yeah. We get crazy. Would you knock out David Goggins? No, because he's got the. He's probably has a good chin. Should I get an EB? I don't know. ED. I don't know. I don't get that. Chandler McGregor. McGregor wins that one. Yeah, McGregor, because Chandler's uh fight IQ is terrible. Yeah, it's bad.
People keep asking what height is good for their height is height. It doesn't matter what yeah, age. That's also very subjective. Like I would ask yeah. the chicks if anything. John Jones kills Nganu. Yeah, John Jones would murder him. I think Tank will win, but I'm not much of a boxing person. Yeah, neither am I, but yeah, I, I go Where for I recommend t- neck curls. I recommend neck curls if you have terrible posture, but uh, mid and low traps are going to be the way to go if you have bad posture. I'm going to make a video on that soon. Do you guys recommend body weight workouts? Not a whole workout, but like I recommend incorporating body work, uh, body weight work. Yeah. Sumo's cheating, man. Conventional for sure. People complain that deadlift doesn't have a long range of motion. I mean, like, sumo has no range of motion if you think the deadlift doesn't have a range of motion. I'm pretty sure Jesus is Jack, guys. Like, I'm pretty sure he has a crazy V-taper. Probably an athletic V-taper, too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. How much do you weigh? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a twin, by the way. That's my my brother's on the – I think they said you're on the left. They're on the left, yeah. And I'm on the right. So uh, – uh, We're both 170. You're 172, right? Yeah, I, I've been cutting, so I'm I'm down. I was like 180, now I'm like 170. Uh, I weighed in at 168 today, but that's like no carbs in my system, no water. So Trump 2024, yeah, baby. Push-ups are good, but I mean, just make sure you can load them up. What's your max pull-ups with body weight? I don't know. I just I don't do body because like, what's the point? I just add weight. Like I did like 70 pounds for eight the other day. On pull-ups, that's more. Yeah, it's easier. You know, why not load up? So I don't know. Are you stronger than Andrew Tate on a pound-for-pound pound basis? For sure. Who gets more bitches, me? Yeah, Martin does. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're just like cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, physique physique is is solid. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. Waffles or pancakes? Well, I'm waffles. I'm waffles. Yeah, I don't understand people like pancakes. Now I want a waffle, now that you said that. Fuck, dude, I do too. Damn. All right, well, we'll order IHOP after this. Can someone donate us $10 so we can get some waffles? <laughs> pancakes are for pussies, all right? Whoever likes pancakes, you're a pussy. Pancakes are for pussies. Older sibling? I mean, we're twins, but Mario is a minute older than me. Yeah. How do you get How a thicker get neck? Uh, thicker neck is trap training, guys. Yeah, a farmer carries for some reason. Jiu-jitsu has helped my neck a lot. Like, my neck's actually not bad. So, Are you on a different room? In the- yeah, I'm downstairs right now. Uh, I'm going to go back to school in two months, actually, so then we'll be in different states. But he's upstairs and I'm downstairs. Yeah. But, like, uh, we, it's not, this is not like our house. We still live at home. So, um, yeah, that's why we're, like, Upstairs, downstairs, because I, I couldn't get a house like this. Cleans or deadlifts? <laughs> cleans for athletes. Someone said thoughts on Sean O'Malley. You know he's tested positive for PDs like twice. I don't or I don't know. It might have been once, but he's po- tested po- People don't know that. What do you consider baseball technique training? Uh, having someone pitch you the ball and hitting the ball. <laughs> thoughts on Sneeko? Um, he, you know, he's a uh, – I don't know. I, he went crazy, basically. I, I think a lot of what he preaches is, like, cool. But, like, he can go so crazy, and then you're like, oh, shit. Like, what are you talking about? So, how good is it to eat a lot? I mean, seafood's good. This guy said waffles are – that's, that's not true because waffles are not soft. They're strong. Waffles are waffles are tough. If you're tough, you eat waffles. If you're, if you're a pussy, you eat pancakes. Bodybuilders eat pancakes. Athletic bodybuilders eat waffles. How do you start fighting? Uh, just go to a gym. Just work on your on your striking first, and then eventually, when you get comfortable, find some sparring partners that you trust and spar with them. Yep, that's a good one. Someone said, "How to use love handles? You lose weight. You can't spot reduce things." But yeah, I still handles. have love handles right now. I gotta get my. I gotta get yeah. rid of mine. I mean, love handles you, you get rid of by getting lean. That's just how it works. So, Republican or Democrat? Oh, or Republican. No. No. <laughs> You don't answer questions like that. <laughs> Thoughts on Penguin Zero's physique? Um, I don't know. People say – I mean a lot of these commentary people think he's ripped, but in real life he's not really that ripped. He's a little small. 
Do you think NBA players use steroids? Yeah, they do. You know, they barely test in the NBA. They're they're known for like barely yeah, testing. And also, if LeBron tested positive for steroids, you think the NBA is gonna suspend him? Like, they're gonna lose so much money if they suspend him. Mars Kaper has because he has small calves. I don't hate big calves. I just give you facts in your face, and then big calves people don't like it. It's facts. The higher your calf inserts, the more explosive you're gonna be, and Isolating the calf is not functional for your, you know, your move. The only time you'll isolate the calf is if you get hurt, okay? If you don't get hurt, you don't need it. Best sport besides fighting, uh, soccer and, bas- and basketball? What ratio for a benching? Um, oh, for a bench, you can say one time. But if you bench one and a half times your body weight, you're crazy. But if you just bench press your body weight, you're at a good spot. Why well, doesn't Kante, Kante have so much stamina? Because he's small, um, so he runs around with less weight. I literally have a short on my channel, Why Angle with Kante. I feel like these people don't see my stuff. My stuff is literally answering Go subscribe to my brother because people keep asking questions that's on his stuff. How much can we bench? 225 for around eight reps. Yeah, but we're going to see. We haven't trained for strength in a long time. So maybe we've only trained for strength maybe like once ever. And you have to consider that, like, we're strong because of athletic bodybuilding. It's not because of, like, strength training. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I wouldn't beat Andrew. Yeah, Jacob. Andrew would beat the shit out of us. Yeah, that's not even close. Leon Edwards or David Lade? That's a bad question, Leon, all the way. David Lade is not aesthetic in real life. People don't realize that. Leon is the best. That's my thoughts on him. Rich P- Isn't Rich Piana, like, didn't he die from steroids? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Thoughts on compound focus workouts? I mean, like, all athletic bodybuilding workouts are compound. I mean, every workout is kind of compound focused. But it, I, it, if you mean, like, that you don't isolate muscles, then, like, I feel like you're leaving a lot on the table in terms of uh, hypertrophy. Height and who gets more girls was already answered earlier. Can you bulk at 18%? You can bulk whenever you want to, bro. Did Ronaldo do athletic bodybuilding? Yeah, Ronaldo did. Uh, training, you feel like you'll be paralyzed? You'll be paralyzed if you get a traumatic spinal cord injury, not from neck training. How do you tell if you have good genetics? Lift weights, build your dream body, then decide. That's what I did. How would I beat LeBron in a fight? I think that's what someone said. I would uh I would fake fake a jab, go for the double leg, and then go for Charles Oliveira uh rear naked choke. So I said how much do you squat? We both squat about three eighty. Some somewhere we're gonna do strength video will be up next week on my channel. I'm gonna do like a strength video with my brother and I. So it'll be up next week. This guy asked again Leon versus Colby. We both think Colby's gonna win. How to increase bench press? Do more bench press at low reps, high uh, high reps. Should I do external rotation? Yep, you should. Best pre-workout meal for me, banana and some pretzels because I lift first thing in the morning. But it depends how long you have until you work out. Do you think, do you think- video games are for losers? Um, I think that if you like video games, then play them. But make sure that you get your stuff done. So if you're in school, get your homework done and do your exercise, then go ahead and play video games. Yeah, I think if, if it's like a, a focus of yours, then you need to do a little bit more in your everyday life. But if you can play every once in a while, that's not bad. Yeah, like if you eat a cake once in a while, it's fine. But like if you eat a bunch of cake, then yeah, obviously it's messed up. So thoughts on Dylan McKnight? Um, the guy's a uh, juiced up bodybuilder. Anderson Silva tested positive for PEDs. A lot of people don't know that. John Jones is the goat by far. Yeah. Best dessert? I like cookie cake is pretty good. Um, I like uh, cheesecake is my favorite. Yeah, what's your guys' favorite desserts too? I'm not a, We're not big dessert people, but just like wondering. Full body is very good for athletes actually because it, you get your muscles to learn how to train together. But not, not for building muscle though. It's not ideal. Yeah, LeBron uses steroids. Who wins in a fight between? It just depends. You know, we it, the, every fight is different. Yeah, we're both very, very even, I would say. How so, long do you eat after your workout? Like right after? I like to eat 
but it's normally just like a protein shake and um yeah like a protein shake and some pretzels for me it's typically where it goes all right cheese marco said cheesecake is a goat yeah i remember marco i got confused i thought one of the marcos said my name was cool but he was talking to another marco <laughs> cookie cake's pretty good dulce de leche in brazil 116 pound competitive swimmer what should you do um, I would probably lean out a little bit. I think the body fat might be too high, uh, especially because you need to move your body around and keep practicing swimming. Keep getting in the water. Okay, guys. So thank you guys for joining this stream. We just passed the hour mark and then the questions are kind of getting repetitive now. Um, but yeah, appreciate everybody for joining the stream. Sub to my brother. If you haven't already, he's the one on the left. Martin Rios yeah. SPT. Thank you guys for joining. We'll probably stream uh, again tomorrow and, you know, maybe Friday and Saturday. We'll probably get these streams out here this week um, because we're going to, you know, we're really excited to launch something next week. And this is kind of just showing you guys who we are and yeah, thanks for joining. And uh, we'll see you guys either tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, depending on when you guys join. All right. See you guys.